Segment 19, Contour Cutting, Create Space. The Create Space Print and Cut process is easy. The Create Space Print and Cut process is for desktop inkjet and laser transfer printers. Create Space does not support large format rip printing. There are a few wrinkles depending on whether you want to print a vector image or an imported raster file. The rest of the workflow is the same. Let's start with a simple vector graphic, text on an ellipse. Select the item. Then from the effects menu, select Shadow Layer Contour Cut. This will open the Shadow Layer Preview window. Check the Print Plus Cut Outline box on the Shadow Layer window. This will give you a preview and you can change the size to preview the distance between the edge of the printed area and where the contour cut path will be. If you're printing on white media, you can change this to reflect that for a more accurate preview. Once you're happy with your preview, click OK. This will add a shadow layer to your layers panel at the right side of your GUI and give you a preview in your document mat of where the contour cut path will be. To get a more specific preview, click the preview icon at the top of the toolbar. The preview options window will pop up and the preview of the cut path will appear in red on your GUI. And if you click the show printable box, you will also see or hide the printed area. This again gives you a preview of what will be printed and what will be contour cut. Click done to save the changes and prepare for output. Now click the cutter icon in the toolbar to open the cut settings menu. Make sure that the use software speed and pressure is unchecked as this may override your settings on the vinyl cutter. Click the print plus cut button in the lower left hand corner. This opens the print and cut menu and here is where you will send the job to the printer and then to the Muse vinyl cutter. Start by clicking the print button. This will open your desktop inkjet printer and you can make sure that your properties are correct. You may want to adjust the print quality setting here. And as you can see, Create Space automatically adds the print registration marks so that you do not have to add them in the software. Make sure this is checked and print select OK. Once the print has come off of the printer with the registration marks, place it in the Muse Vinyl Cutter in the same orientation it came from the printer. Use the groove on the platen on your vinyl cutter to make sure the print is loaded straight and even with the sides of the media parallel to the sides of the vinyl cutter. Position the Muse's blade over the lower right registration mark and set that as the origin on the Muse using the show point feature. If you haven't already done so, this would be a good time to set the correct speed and force settings on the cutter and perform a test cut near the bottom of the sheet outside the intended printed area. Now back on the software, we simply click next on the print and cut window and this takes us to the print and cut setting for the scan of the registration marks. All we have to do now is click start scan. This is sending the job to the vinyl cutter and activating the Muse registration mark sensor. The Muse will respond and the camera will scan and display all four registration marks. The control panel will show what the camera sees so that you can see the alignment. Then the Muse will automatically contour cut the decal. Remove it, read the excess, and you're ready for application. Now let's look at the other workflow. If you wish to contour cut around an imported raster image file, such as a JPEG or PNG, the beginning of the process is a little different. To import the raster file, use the File Place Image function. 
This will open your browser so that you can surf to your supported image files. Here you can see TIFFs, PNGs, JPEGs, all of these are compatible. We do not need to select one with a transparent background because the trace image function will delete the background if we need to. Select open to import the file. If it is a larger file, it may take a while for it to be imported into the CreateSpace workspace. If it comes in too large, that's not a problem. Simply use the position and size settings, and you can use the small arrow or up and down arrow keys, or simply resize the width with the Keep Proportions button checked to make sure that it does not distort the shape of your image file. Now click the File Trace Image function and this will open the trace image window. Here you have several options. The image will be displayed in the trace image window. The displayed image will have the trace path in red. As you can see here, sometimes the trace process will add nodes that you do not want to translate into contra cut paths. This is easy to fix by checking blackout and update preview. The blackout setting only looks at the contour or outside of the printed area and now we have a good preview of a contour cut path around the printed image. To proceed, click the Add Image Layer Print and Cut button at the lower left hand corner of the screen and check OK. Now as before, we see that the extra layer has been added to the Layers panel and we proceed as we did with the vector graphic by coming to the effects menu, shadow layer, contour cut. We can use our slider to see and preview the width of the offset. Select print plus cut outline and OK. The preview shows where our contour cut path will be and we can show and hide the printable area. Click done and then to proceed, go to the cut setting, print and cut, print the job, and then scan it. 